In this PowerPoint video, I will show you how to use the Merge Shapes tool in PowerPoint. Let's get started. So here I am in my presentation on slide two, and I would like to insert a shape. So I click on Insert, I go to Shapes, and I'm noticing that the shape I want is not here, but I do see something kind of close this oval tool. So I'll click and drag and draw out an oval. Now whenever you're using the shape tools, if you want the shape to be symmetrical, you can hold the shift key as you click and drag. And in this case, it gives me a perfect circle and I can drag that where I want it to be. Now I'm going to select that circle, hold control and tap C to copy and then V to paste, control V. So now I've got two circles and I've dragged one of them over the other so that they overlap a bit. Now that I have more than one shape, I can click and drag to highlight both shapes and I can go here to the Shape Format tab. In the Insert Shapes group, you'll find Merge Shapes. Now my computer screen is really small and so it can't fit the words Merge Shapes on the screen. That's okay, it's just this symbol here. Go ahead and click on it and look at the five different types of merge shapes actions that I can perform. The first is a union. If I click on union, you can see what happens. This used to be two separate circles. Now it's one unified shape. Now what if I change my mind about how I merged those shapes? Notice that the Merge Shapes option is grayed out. It's not active. The reason why is because I no longer have two shapes selected. This is simply one unified shape now. So if I regret what I've done, I should use Control Z to undo, or I could use the button here in the upper left to undo. So that gets me back to my two shapes. Selecting the two shapes again, let's look at the other merge shapes actions that we can take. In addition to union, we can combine. You can see combine gives me a similar result, but I can still tell that these were at one point two separate shapes. I can see how they overlap, and so this is another way to merge shapes. This would be great for creating Venn diagrams, compare and contrast, stuff like that. I'm going to undo the action by holding control and tapping Z a few times. And let's take a look now at the third option that we have, which is fragment. If you choose fragment, notice that I still do have my merge shapes options available to me. Why? Because fragment gives me just what it sounds like, fragments of these shapes. So these are not unified shapes. They're not truly merged. I can click and drag to separate each piece of this fragmented new shape. Now, as you can imagine, there's lots of great ways we could use this. This would be great for geometry, for helping students understand how different shapes fit together, focusing on specific components of a whole. There's all sorts of great ways to use this fragment option. I'm gonna undo that tapping Control Z a few times, and let's look at the next Merge Shapes option. After Fragment, we get Intersect. Look at that. As you can tell, what this does is it gives me just the intersection of the two shapes. The rest of the two shapes have disappeared. I'll hold Control and tap Z to get back. And finally, let's look at Subtract. The way Subtract works is the second shape subtracts or erases from the first shape. So in most cases, if you need a shape in your PowerPoint presentations and you don't see that exact shape here in the list of shapes, in many, many cases, you can combine multiple shapes in different ways and merge them using the shape format, insert shapes group, and this merge shapes tool. One last thing I wanna show you as a bonus is after you've merged shapes, or even before really, you can go here to the insert shapes group and find this option, edit shape. You can click there and then you could choose edit points. When you do, you'll be able to see these little black squares. Each of those is a point that you can adjust. So I could click and drag this black point to go back here. Maybe I'll click this one and put it right there. Adjust this one here. And I'm trying to make this look like Pac-Man, but it's not totally working. But you get the idea. So with this tool here of edit shape, edit points, you can make even more changes 
to your merged shapes. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, please click the thanks button below the video, support me on my Patreon account, and consider buying channel merch. And you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of Patreon, I've got to say thank you to my $5 Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for the support you give to my channel.